curry cookbook. Today we are going to be making apple crumble. For the apple crumble recipe you'll need roughly eight apples, we might use less, we're not sure yet. 110 grams of cold butter, but ours is melted a touch. 110 grams of caster sugar. And 175 grams of plain flour. And your equipment, spoon, a bowl, and your tin that you're gonna bake it in. So let's start. Okay, so now we're just gonna add our ingredients into our bowl. And so the flour. I pre-measured mine, but you can measure yours whilst you're putting it in. And your sugar. And just, and I'm just gonna get my wooden spoon and mix it. This apple crumble recipe is really easy and we do it every couple of weeks and it's a definite favourite and the majority of us prefer it with cream so we have that as well. So now that we've mixed all of that in, we're just going to add our butter. I've already put mine into chunks so that it will be easier for me to mix it by hand. I have already washed my hands so that I'm not getting it all messy. So I'm just going to scoop that in. My hands are going to be all greasy now, but it does not matter because it is worth it. So you just get in with your hands and kind of like smush it together so that you are making sure it's all together. And you want to just mix it all up. Make and just and combine it together until you have uh, this light sand like mixture and you just gotta like smush the butter chunks So it's quite crumbly, but we've still got some quite big butter chunks. So we've got to go through and make sure we have none of those or else it will become quite greasy the same way that the banana bread does. Which we have filmed a video for, which we will either be posting afterwards or we will have done previously. I'm not sure which order these are coming out. I, this will be sped up. So. so now that I've done the crumble, I need to peel the apples. So I've just got them sitting in some water and I'm just gonna go grab a peeler and peel it. Okay, so this bit is the bit that I want to be sped up. peeled the apples and they are now all cut up and cored so they are all ready to have the crumble on top of them but there are a couple of things we need to do before that we just need to get a couple of tablespoons of sugar and toss them in the sugar so that they aren't too sour because it can get quite sour quite quickly Sprinkle it with the sugar, just a couple of tablespoons, I'm only going to do two but you can do a bit more if you would like. 
and just toss the apples in the sugar. So I'm just gonna scoop it on top and then flatten it on the top so that it doesn't burn because anything sticking up will burn. So you just kind of spread it, make sure it's covering the apples. And just, I'm using the spoon so my hands aren't all over it. Three hundred and forty six minutes later. And a little bit of extra in there. And now we need to do the toppings, which is oats and uh, golden sugar. It's just a light sprinkling, so we've got brown sugar and oats. So, so the brown sugar you only use about a teaspoon, but the oats about a tablespoon. So, got the sugar, and we're just going to very lightly spread it. Like that. It's a bit chunky, but it will, we've just got to do the same thing we did with the oat. If it does, do that. Like that. And then we've got to bake it. The recipe says 35 to 40 minutes, but check it 10 minutes before it's done just to make sure it doesn't burn. Sir? Give me a 25 minute timer. 25 minutes, starting now. I've asked her to do it so that we don't forget because I know for a fact I will forget. We'll see you when it's done. One hour later! Oh, that looks pretty good. Now let's see what it tastes like.